Hi everyone, this is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength, and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm doing something a little different. I'm going to try my hand at doing some styling tips for you. And this video is because of a nice, wonderful viewer that I have, Culture Shock 99. This video is just for you. And also my other viewers who like style and fashion. So I hope it is helpful to many of you. And Culture Shock left me a comment asking if I would do a video explaining how you can style leopard print without it looking tacky. So here are some of my tips and ideas on how you can do that. The first thing you need to know is that in the world of fashion, leopard print is a neutral, meaning it will go with all other solid colors. So if you can wear it with black, you can wear it with solid red, white, you name it it's gonna work. So don't be fearful when it comes to pairing leopard print with certain colors if it's a solid. The part you have to be, uh, you know, you know, leery of is pairing it with print because the leopard print is such a busy print in itself. But you know, I love the leopard print. I think God just, he's the master artist, right? So he knew what he was doing when he created all these beautiful animals. And the fact that we can get inspiration and apply it to our fashion is just icing on the cake. I love it. So with the leopard print, just remember that's your statement piece. You can wear it with any solid color and just keep it minimal. Do not wear leopard print from head to toe. Don't come out with a leopard print hat, leopard print bodysuit with leopard print boots and leopard print handbag. You're not auditioning for cats. Let's get that clear. You're not going trick or treating. So just keep it really, really simple, guys. And so I'm just going to show you some of my ideas on how I style leopard print with the clothes from my closet. Everything that I'm showing you here has been thrifted with the exception of, well, I was going to say the handbag, but I got that on Poshmark, so that's like thrifting. But anyway, yes, thrifting is a great way to add things to your closet. So the first thing I got is this leopard print dress out of my closet and I thought this would be good to show you when you can use color. Look at the colors of your leopard prints because leopard prints are done in many different color schemes. So this one is a gray and black with red. So let the red be your statement piece when uh, accessorizing. So like a nice red patent leather pump would go really fabulous with this. That would be the eye-catching piece that kind of pulls it together. Just keeping it simple. A nice patent leather red handbag to match the patent red leather shoes. Got some gold detailing with the chain, so that would be really, really nice. So, excuse me, that's just one element that you can do to style. Now, I have two skirts that are leopard printed, so fabric plays an important role in how I you know, accessorize these. So the first one is more of a winter skirt because of the fabric. It's velour or like a velvet material, so it's heavier weight. And this one is a lighter weight material. It's like a cotton and synthetic blend with a little bit of stretch to it, so it's lighter weight. They're both fully lined, so remember, quality is key. If you have a quality fabric, your pieces are not gonna look tacky or cheap. So look for quality and then think about the fabrics and so since this is like a velour or velvety type material I would wear black turtleneck, black tights, some boots, throw on a nice blazer for a pop of color and you're out the door. This one a black tank top, a red tank top with some cute sandals, black sandals to kind of you know balance it out would be awesome too. So there's so many different ways you can do it. Let the fabric talk to you, let the color scheme talk to you and kind of just go from there and keep it minimal, keep it simple. So with this one, you've got the leopard print detailing going across the bodice, keep the bottom simple, solid black pant, but make the shoe the eye-catching statement in this piece. So you have such little leopard print, you could add another leopard print on the bottom that would work. So I have these two-tone Franco Sarto shoes that would work really great with this. And I worn these shoes with this top many times before uh, with various bottoms and um, you could also do the more solid piece with that as well because like I say it's not too busy so a solid color pump I mean a all leopard print pump would work with that as well and next I have this is 
is like my favorite piece out of all. It's a retro piece. It has that bold leopard print with the big shoulder pad. So of course this is going to be your statement piece. And look at all these colors you have to choose from from your palette. But I would stick with the darker colors. I would not do a white pant with this. I think that would just throw it off. But you could do a black pant with this with, you know, some black pumps or black boots. You could do um, black pants with a gold pump that would probably be kind of snazzy and different and cute but uh, I definitely would not pair any other leopard print with this outfit uh, well I take that back you because your pants are a black solid you probably could do a leopard print pump on the bottom because it's more subtle it's smaller so yeah you could do just a little bit I wouldn't do a purse I would keep it just with the shoe and the top on that one all right now this dress right here is an eye-catching piece. There's a lot of fabric. When you have this much leopard print fabric, guys, keep it simple. A nude flesh tone color pump would be fabulous with this. It elongates the leg. Make sure you, when you get a flesh tone that it matches your skin tone for that nice, clean, elegant, long line on the leg. But I would go with that. Of course, you could wear black. You could wear red with that. But I just think the nude works the best on that and then as far as black goes I love black is classic with the leopard print you could do a infinity scarf with that but definitely an eye-catching bag like this would work with this beauty beautiful black maxi dress and a black sandal that would be fabulous and white on white you're asking to be seen with a leopard print with white on white. So a white tee with some white uh, pants and an infinity scarf. Look at that. Doesn't that scream like summertime? I think that is so gorgeous. And you know you can't go wrong with denim. And I'm wearing denim with just the simple leopard print belt. This is my eye-catching piece right here. And I'm just letting that be my statement piece. So like I said, just keep it simple. And last but not least, cream works really well with leopard print. Like I said, any solid color. And just keep it minimal. Keep the leopard print as the statement piece. Look at your fabrics. Look at your color schemes to help you kind of style those pieces. And just don't go overboard. And then I think you can't go wrong. You won't look tacky. Now I'm going to go in my archives, pull out some photos so you can see how I style some of these. And then I'm going to throw in some new uh, stylings as well. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Well guys, that is it for my styling tips for today on how to style leopard print without looking tacky. Now let's recap. Keep it minimal. Remember, your leopard print is your friend because it's neutral and it goes with most colors or most solid colors. 
and let it be your statement piece. Look for your color palette and the colors that are being used with your leopard print and just don't go overboard. Don't overwhelm your body with the leopard print from head to toe and let your leopard print be your statement piece and I think if you keep those things in mind you will do well and you won't look tacky so thank you so much for tuning in and thank you to culture shop 99 for suggesting this video I hope it was helpful to someone out there and you fashionistas who like to wear leopard print and have some other tips and ideas on how you would style leopard print please leave them in the comment below because I and I don't know everything and I don't I mean I don't claim to know anything really I'm just sharing what little I do know with you and I love hearing from you all so I'd love for you to uh, make some comments on how you style leopard print and whatever tips you may have Sharon Warren I love you because you're always uh, leaving really great comments and giving me awesome feedback to help me to uh, better my presentation and all that so shout out to you too Sharon and thank you so much for tuning in and remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he loves us so much and I'll see you next time bye